What up? What up? What up? Welcome to Three Flames with Jay Lee, the producer. And today I am going to be mixing a song from scratch. This song is called Set On You by Don Darnell Blake. Uh, hadn't released yet, um, but she'll be releasing uh, sometime within the next few months here in 2021. Uh, Happy New Year, by the way. Today is January 1st, uh, 2021. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to get started here on this mix. Uh, I'll play a little bit of the song. Obviously, it's not going to sound worth anything right now. Um, but I'm going to go through it and show you... Um, what it sounds like before the mix and then obviously we'll take it step by step and go through the whole thing and mix the whole thing all right so here we go So, um, tis the gist of the song. And so, um, let's, let's dive into this. So whenever I mix a song, I always start off with, uh, the instrumental and I always start, uh, from, I always pull everything down, uh, meaning the volume all the way down and, uh, and then I, you know, bring things to the proper volume uh, today actually and I've been trying this a little bit more is um, starting off with some dynamic processing on the master bus uh, just so that I can kind of go ahead and get that out the way and so I think they call it top-down mixing but um, I'm just gonna do that really quick um, now, granted, you know, for the sake of the video, this isn't going to be the final mix, uh, but, you know, it'll be uh, in great detail on how I go through my process. And so let's get started. Um, I typically just try to set a loop and then, um, you know, from there, I'll play the song and just start messing with things from there. So... So I'm going to use the Slate Digital uh, Virtual Mix Bus. And typically I'll start with this uh, Mix Bus strip. And I'll try to find uh, which one of these uh, console uh, features are uh, best for this specifically best sound or whatever and so actually got to make a change on something really quick I'm hearing some stuff that I'm not liking pretty sure it's because of this so Alrighty, we're back.
Okay. So um, I like using presets and then I'll just make adjustments on the presets and so. So, uh, as you can see, we're peaking here, and I, I like using this trimmer, this trimmer just to bring that down to where we're not peaking, okay? If you need to turn your, you know, your output up, uh, or, you know, on your uh, monitors, you can do that to get more volume, but you want to make sure you're staying below peaking. Uh, then I also use the virtual tape bus, or virtual tape machine. Like digital. going to do is I'm going to pull everything down to zero or actually not zero but all the way down whatever that is um, so this is where I'm going to start uh, with everything uh, all the volume turned all the way down and I'm gonna I always start with my kick and bass um, you know those are the two things that that have to be locked in place for me uh, with one another. And so I always start mixing uh, the kick first and then the bass immediately afterwards. And again, I'll just set a loop uh, just to hear this part. I mean, you could just play it for the whole song or whatever, but I typically just start with about an eight to 16 bar loop and it'll just continuously loop until I get a good sound. Don't be afraid to use presets. Save yourself a lot of time. So what I'm looking at with my kick is I typically want to be at about negative 10 uh, on my meter, on my master meter. Um, and that's after it's compressed and, and all of that good stuff. And so... I love virtual mix rack. I really do. Again, don't be afraid to play with presets and then make adjustments with your presets. See right now, you know, it's hitting at about negative 10. Negative 10.2. It's about where I want it. So I'm going to stick with that. Post these lows just a little bit. All right. Bass. I'm listening for is when that kick hits like is is the bass locked in with it um, 
you know, you don't want to have the bass overpowering the kick. You don't want to have the bass so low that it doesn't sit with the kick. And so I just, they tell you all the time, you don't want to mix with your eyes. And that's very true. Sometimes I think, you know, I'm, I'm a visual person. And so I like to see things when I'm EQing and compressing. I like to see the dynamics of how things are working. Uh, but ultimately, you, you don't want to mix with your eyes. Um, if you have a control surface, that's great uh, to mix where you don't use your eyes. Uh, but then also, whenever you're mixing, um, you know, I really, I'll, I'll turn my head away from the screen or, um, you know, I'll close my eyes. And the one thing that I always do at the end of a mix is I'll turn my screen completely off and I'll try to listen in. And it really makes a huge difference. You hear things that you wouldn't normally hear when you're seeing the screen. So Okay, I like that right there. chains that you just kind of pull in and play with and see what they sound like. So with this uh, snare and clap, you know, I wanted the effect of a uh, of a wet snare, and so I kind of added that clap that has the reverb, so that I can so that I can hear that hear that. Let me turn this up. Again, you don't want that clap like that. You just, I want the effect of the clap. So now I gotta find somewhere as the hi-hat's gone.
I've already got everything panned uh, that I want panned. So, uh, but the, my approach to panning is just giving things its own space, you know, especially when it comes to drums. <laughs> Again, I'm a visual person, and so, you know, if I look at a drummer, you know, they got the kick going, the kick drum going, and it's dead center. Then you got the snare that's kind of off to the side. I typically try to keep my snares dead center unless I'm using multiple uh, snares and I'm stacking snares, then I'll pan a couple of them. Um, typically, I like my snare straight down the center. Um, and then, you know, you got the hi-hat off to the side. Um, any type of percussion, toms, you know, cymbals and rides and crashes and so you know I just kind of span them out as I see a drum set it's just my own little thing that I that I do okay now that we've got most of the drums set, I think I may have a few other crashes and stuff like that, but I'll get to those in a second. Uh, now we got the guitar. And on this one, we have multiple guitar uh, parts, but So as you can see, I have them panned to where, you know, the rhythm guitar is, you know, 26 to the left and the strum is about 44 to the right. Uh, my thought process with that is, you know, with the lead, uh, especially this rhythmic guitar, 
I want a more center. Don't want a dead center because it's going to be fighting for space uh, with the vocals. So, kind of consider that a primary instrument and this a secondary instrument. So, I'm going to push it out a little bit wider. Now, just because I know this song, at this time in the song, there's no vocals. And so I might even just go ahead and center that uh, lead guitar. And I'll just play around with that as we bring in vocals and start doing all of that stuff. So with those effects, I'll bring those in as needed. Um, I don't know. I'll see how that goes a little later. So after further discussion with the artist, I decided that he didn't like this, these strings. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out. And I'm gonna bring this choir in, because I do like that. Jeez, all the wrong things. All right, <laughs> it's funny. Although this choir pad is a synth, 
I still like treating it like a vocal. And so a lot of times when I have vocal synth going, I will mix them like vocals. So I'm just gonna throw something on. Actually, I'm gonna play around over here. See what they got over here for the vocals. I like that. effects okay I'll start right here reverberate a little bit more. Sweet classic. We'll 
play with the volume of those a little later. I already had automation on from the first time that I mixed the did the original mix, and so there's automation already on those for the panning. Uh, sure, but so yeah, continuing on. Uh, where are we at? Got to get these in this thing over here. Similar. I'll just use Old Faithful again. I love this. It's reverb. I have no idea what any of these mean, but. That sounds good, so I'm gonna stick with it. All right, I think I have a few more. I already do those, I already did those, okay. So, uh, oh yeah, I have this at the beginning here. This is the aux. Again, it's a vocal synth effect, but I'm going to mix it similar to the vocal. So I'm just going to, you know, do some dynamic processing on it. I'll probably just cheat with a preset real quick. And then after that, I will probably put a reverb and a delay on it, maybe play with some cool effects to see what it sounds like so I'm just gonna throw this on there real quick right there I like it that sounds good uh, now I'm just gonna put I'm gonna use this. I like this Kilo Hearts. Go with the Snap Heap. All right. <laughs> On there. with that.
All right. So I'm good with where the instrumental is. And obviously, as I start bringing in the vocals and the background vocals and all of that, uh, I'll play with what the instrument, uh, the instrumental is doing. But for now, I like where it is as a bass. And I'm going to dive into the vocals and start messing with those. So what did I do? I hit the wrong thing here. All right. sound here must have hit something yeah what that is okay I don't know what happened. No. I don't know what happened to my sound here. I didn't have a dropout. Here we go. All right, we're back. So we're going to work on these vocals. So one thing you should know is that I've already done pitch correction on these. And so, uh, you know, if I was to, oops, if I was to select that and then hit restore, you'd be able to see that I had pitch correction via Melodyne. And so um, that's already been done. So we'll, we're just gonna dive into uh, dynamic processing and uh, dynamic processing. Keep sliding stuff, good Lord, what is going on? My life, all right dynamic processing and effects processing. And so let's get into it. Really what I like to do is, you know, solo that vocal and then start chiseling away at I'm that vocal. I'm so impatient. Now granted, let me say this for all of those watching. And if you have, let me make this quick, uh, caveat if you have suggestions on ways that I can do things better I am listening put it in the comment let me know this is just my process um, I have a lot of years of experience uh, I don't know a lot of technical terms and so I'm not going to talk technically I'm just going to talk on what my ears are hearing and so with that being said what I like to do, you know, I, I've been doing this for such a long time that there's just certain ways that I just kind of go in these templates that I have in my mind and I just start doing those. And then the further I go into it, I kind of, you know, I just kind of base it on what I'm hearing, which is what I suggest to everybody. I don't care how many, um, compressors EQs you have to use or if you don't use any the final product is uh, is as long as that sounds good everything else uh, doesn't matter just make sure you have something good at the end now I do believe that there are certain techniques that you got to apply uh, and I use those techniques all the time uh, but once you've been doing it for a long, you just kind of know your go-tos and stuff like that. So 
With that being said, let's dig into this Slate Digital Virtual Mix Rack because it's my fave. And so, um, I love this Virtual Mix Bus console. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but you know you can set up up to eight groups. And with these groups, let's say I set this to group one, then any change I make on on any one of those plugins set to that group it will change all of those and so that's a you know very good uh feature to have uh, for for a plug-in so anyway i'm so impatient can't lie i'm so tired of waiting they that wait on the Lord. Yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I like waiting that. for? The journey is the destination. Whatever that means. My train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So my eyes are set on you. So uh this specific uh console rack that i just pulled in here is a preamp and if i remember correctly it's based off of the neve uh preamp let's see here amp emulates one of the most famous preamps in the audio industry yeah I, it's the neve i'm pretty sure of it and so uh, again you know just like this is saying it's just gonna get you you know, rich, warm, and present tone. Um, I like adding that to my vocals. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord. So right now, these two plugins are basically um, just getting the right tone, warmth, and presence of the vocal. Then I'm going to start... You know, then I'm going to go into my EQing and then I'm going to go into my compression. And so uh, that's I always try to get that that proper tone and that sound. Uh, and then I start going into my EQing and compression. I'm so impatient. Can't lie. I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait. Right. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm uh, doing an EQ sweep. And I just want to listen for those frequencies that I do not like um, and get rid of those. So... This plugin in particular, anytime you have a plugin uh, with just dials like this, it can be a little bit intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, that's the same as for me. Um, but what I did was pull it back up. I took what I knew from the, you know, the visual side of things and I just kind of applied it here. And so I'm going to mute that real quick and then I'm going to pull up one of the Um, is it a parametric EQ? I don't know. But anyway, it's one that you can see. You can visualize, okay? And I'm so, so impatient. Basically, what I did in, in this plug-in here was I rolled off a little bit of the low end, the LF, low frequency. I rolled off a little bit of the low end and then I started sweeping from the low mids, then I'll go to the high mids and then I'll go to the high frequency. So 
in this plugin, something that you can visualize is basically, you know, rolling off the, the low end. Let me. I'm so impatient. You roll it off as much as you want to. That don't I'm sound so good. Tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord. The purpose yeah, in this is just getting before, rid of. What am I waiting for? Not necessarily. Uh, not the only un the wanted frequencies, but unused frequencies, because those unused frequencies uh, create noise. And so you want to just get rid of those. I'm so, so. impatient. Can't lie. I'm so tired of waiting. And then when I talk about sweeping, right? Get you your little bell curve here. And you want to, you know, you can make it as, as detailed as possible or less detailed. I like to go pretty detailed. And then I'm going to boost it. This boost like crazy in this infinite EQ. Like, I think it boosts infinitely. You don't want to do that. You just want to boost it to where it's... The idea here is to make those unwanted frequencies loud so that you can hear them and then remove them. And so you boost those, you find your little uh, deal here, and you just sweep up and down until you find that frequency, you hear that frequency that you don't want and then you're gonna pull it out. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I, I waiting that? for? The journey oh. is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny, but I trust that you are. So that's one that, that we could hear in, uh, with this EQ specifically, you can, you know, really hone in and hear that solo that frequency. I'm so impatient. Can't lie. I'm so tired of waiting. Right. They that wait so we got on the rid of Lord. that. Yeah, I've heard and there's before, more. But what am I waiting right. for? I just want to show y'all that in the visual the side. The journey is the destination. I'm gonna take Whatever that off. Whatever that means. And I'm gonna use, my train's late go back to, to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me. So again, making... you wanna hone in on the detail, boost that all the way up. And then I typically pull this all the way down and then I just scan or, um, you know, what do you call it? Sweep with this freak until I find that right frequency that I don't want. And then I'll pull it out. I'm so impatient. Can't lie. I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means. My train's late to the station for my destiny, but I trust that you are way ahead of me in making moves I can't see. So my eyes... So I got rid of those and most of your uh, unwanted frequencies on vocals, uh, they call it muddy, is gonna be in that low mid to high mid range. And so you can get a little bit back with the high frequency to uh, add a little shimmer, add a little sweetness to the vocal. I'm not gonna do that on this plugin uh, because I use another plugin for that and I'm gonna actually apply that next. But for now, I'm gonna move on to compression. I really like this compressor here, the FG401. Um, it's a hybrid of some of the most popular VCA channel compressors that are used in modern audio. So there you go. I like it. It's really smooth and it sounds good on vocals. And I always kind of start off with uh, lead folks smooth and I just make adjustments um, 
to the threshold and the attack and release and the makeup. Okay, so with the threshold, that's just gonna tell, that's, you're telling the compressor when to start working, okay? And so if the threshold is really low, then as soon as that vocal is, you know, you hear it, it's gonna start. If it's really high, uh, then it's gonna have to really get loud before it ever um, starts working. But you wanna use your, your dial here to kind of see where it's working. I typically like it hidden between five and seven. I'm so impatient. Too much. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord. Yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? I typically like having a the fast is the destination. attack. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny. But right. I trust that I like you are a fast way ahead of me and making Now, this game I reduction is telling you how much so my it's taken away from the you. main vocal and how much it's compressing. And so you typically want to make that up with the makeup. Again, I'm hitting between 5 and 7 dBs. I typically bring back you know all of that for my uh, parts that are not being compressed so they can be boosted to be heard I'm so impatient can't lie I'm so tired of waiting they that wait on the Lord yeah I've heard it all before so, but what am I waiting for actually I'm gonna add one more thing to that I'm gonna add shimmer or revival rather just to give it a little more thickness and a little more shimmer now this is this sort of works like fresh air uh, slightly different I don't know the difference but I use both of them typically I'm so impatient can't lie I'm so tired of waiting they that wait on the bit. Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means. My train's late to the station for my destiny, but I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So, so right now, I'm just trying to get it to where it sounds good soloed. Then I'm going to bring it into the music and make sure that it can sound good with the music, okay? Uh, because they have to work together. And so I'm just trying to lay a great foundation for the vocal right now. And then once I bring it in with the music is when I'll really start to, to hone, hone in all of the specific details to make it sound good within this song. So... After that, I like putting on a de-esser. I really love Waves de-esser. It's my favorite de-esser uh, because it's really powerful, but it's really smooth. I'm so impatient. Now, did you see when he said, when he says so, this meter like really jumped up? That's good. You want to see that. Uh, but you don't want to compress it too much. You don't want to DS too much because then it is, it is you'll hear fluctuations in in the main vocal. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that you just want to take away that harshness of the S's, um, the P's, the T's. You want to take away that harshness of it and just make I'm it I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? I like that. The journey is the destination, whatever that means. Again, it's all about what you hear. Now, some people's ears are more seasoned than others, like... There might be some people watching this whose ears are more seasoned than mine and they can hear more. 
um, this is where I'm at right now, and this is what I'm doing. So, yeah. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. I like where we are right now. Now I'm going to do a little uh, effects processing. So I was on Pro Tools forever. And on Pro Tools, I would have to create an auxiliary track, you know, go to track, new, select uh, the type of track, auxiliary track. I want a mono or stereo. It's just way too much. On this, it's simple. I just go down here and add effect add bus channel and it automatically makes me a bus channel boom bam love it no oh yeah we do want that solo i'm gonna do it like that for all of these i'm gonna pull this down here a little closer so i can see it as i work on it yeah. Come on. Oh, i probably got it set to where it stays to the right There, no. All right. So I made that quick change, and now that should be able to be there. Great deal. Solo that. I'm Stick so impatient. Can't lie. I always start off with the reverb. Get that sweetness in there. For this, uh, I love this Slate Digital for Sweet Classics. It's just such a good plug-in. I like plate uh, reverbs on my vocals. And so I don't know what any of these units are, but I'm gonna go right to plates right here. I'm not gonna mess with the length right now. I'm just gonna kind of go through some of these and see what sounds I'm good. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord. Yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? That's the nice. journey is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So my eyes are set on. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? I like that. So once I get my reverb set, then I always add a delay to my lead vocal. And again, it's just as simple as hitting the plus and adding a bus channel, and I got my bus right here. I really have been digging into Reaper, um, and I love this uh delay all right i like the analog feedback so i always turn that on um and they you know have really good presets in here that you can mess with uh even these models that you can have right here that right off the bat sound really good uh, but for this lead vocal i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna Go with the initial setting and manipulate it from there. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means, my train's late to the stage. So on this song, more than likely what I'm going to do is automate the delay because uh, I, you know. I'm so impatient. That's just, that's just too much going on. And so I'll probably have it to where it just, uh, you can hear the delay in 
in spaces and at certain parts. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it set so that when I do have that chance, then boom, uh, it's already set and I can just do, apply the automation. I'm so impatient. Okay, now you notice, let me turn these up a little bit more so they stick through, but the delay vocal is really dry and it's almost identical to the I'm lead. so impatient. Right? And so I really want to put those delays in their own space and make sure that they, um, you know, are felt and not really heard. So how I do that is I come over here to that bus plugin or that bus channel with the delay plugin on and I'm going to bus it to uh, I'm going to bus it to a reverb okay so I'm going to come over here bus that to bus 3 you could go back to your main bus but I'm going to create a completely separate one I'm going to use Baby Audio spaced out. I really like that reverb and kind of go through the presets and find some cool stuff. So, I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord. Yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means. My train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So my eyes are set on you. Oh, my eyes are set on you. Over every distraction, you have my attention. My eyes are set on you. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny, but I try. I like that reverb or that delay, uh, the reverb and the delay that it has on it. And now I'm also going to send this delay to a filter. Okay. Uh, and so... that to bus four and the thing I like about this as well is that you can name these and it automatically changes it so let me go ahead and name this this is the lead reverb this is the lead delay this is the background oh I did that wrong no that's right lead delay and that's the background vocal, or I'm actually just gonna call this this one, aux reverb. And then this is gonna be my aux filter, auxiliary filter. Okay, so now I can see where this delay is being sent to my auxiliary reverb and my auxiliary filter. Um, and I like using this Kilo, Kilo Hearts filter just because it's super simple. And I always go uh, to this band pass. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I waiting for? 
The journey is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So my eyes are set on you. Oh, my eyes are set on you. Over every distraction, you have my attention. My eyes are set on you. I'm so impatient. Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting. They that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before. But what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination. Whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny. But I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see. So my eyes. Okay, I like where we are right now. Um, as you can hear on the delay, it has its own space now. It's separate from the lead vocal. It kind of reverberates off in the space and like where we are. Oh, all right. So let's see what it sounds like with the rest of the music and then we'll go from there. Kayla, I'm so tired of waiting. Say that wait on the Lord, yeah, I've heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means, my train's late to the state. So, I can tell right off the bat, I want a little more reverb on that. I'm so impatient, Kayla, I'm so tired of waiting. Say that wait on the Lord, more yeah, presence. heard it all before, but what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination, whatever that means, my train's late to the station for my destiny, but I trust that you are way ahead of me and making moves I can't see, so my eyes are set. Good starting ground. Let's see here. I'm so impatient. All right. So, whenever I get my lead vocal set, then that's pretty much how I want to. Um, the the standard or the the foundation that I want to use for my background vocals as well except there's one one slight change that I make and so uh, with that being said I'm gonna show y'all kinda a, a little technique that I use so I highlight everywhere I want my um, my plugins to go for my lead vocal and then I can just drag and drop and it's going to populate all of those. And as you can see, you know, it has that virtual mix rack on all of the ones that I had highlighted. So I'm going to do that for all of these plugins. And then my DS -er. Okay. And so once I do that, now, you know, the dynamic processing is pretty much done for my background vocals. However, 
I don't want those, me personally, I don't want those the same as my lead. And so a little thing that I always do is I always go to my EQ and I will roll off a little more of the, the low end on it. Okay. I'll just roll off a little bit more of the low end and I'll be for the most part set for with my background vocals. I just need to copy those over to every background vocal. Then we'll listen to those when we get to them. But my lead vocals are gonna all be the same. I guess I could have done that all in one felt swoop, but I didn't. Boom and boom. All right, now that we got all of that set, we can start working with volume and automation and, and fine tuning everything. So. I'm so impatient. Got a few background vocals here uh, that are just accents. What am I waiting so. for? The journey is the destination. Destination. De okay, so that was something that I just wanted to add an accent to that destination and so what i did on that was i got well i guess that was melodyne but anyway i also never mind i don't know what i'm doing right now what did i do destination de so that's yeah that's mixed exactly like the lead let's mess with that I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply an effect through waves that's ultra pitch three voices and then you also have a six voice option. There may even be an option for just ultra pitch. Yeah, so this is three voices. So with this, this is going to allow you to create an effect uh, where you can go an octave up, an octave below, and any note in between uh, with your lead vocal, with your main vocal. And so you have a few different uh, parameters you can control. The gain. Uh, which is basically the output of the effect, uh, the delay of the effect in comparison to the main vocal, the pitch, and then the formant. Uh, easiest way to perform it, uh, to explain the formant is if, if, if it's higher, it's gonna be more female-ish, and if it's lower, it's gonna sound more male-ish. In this instance, I want it to sound more female-ish. And so I'm gonna turn this up to about five. And then I'm gonna set my delay to four. And then my gain, I'm gonna turn that down to seven for now. And then I'm going to go an octave up. And we're going to see what that sounds like. Destination. So. Without it. Destination. With it. Destination. You can hear that vocal coming in. I'm going to actually turn this gain up a little bit. Destination. Desti I like that. I'm gonna actually turn the lead down because I want that effect to be the star on this specific track. Destination, destination. That's beautiful. So now 
on this destination desti the journey is the destination destination and now I can mess with that do a bunch of fun stuff with just that effect itself probably won't get into too much detail today but save that for another video I'm so impatient Can't lie, I'm so tired of waiting Say that wait on the Lord Yeah, I've heard it all before But what am I waiting for? The journey is the destination Whatever that means So, you can see that it provides that effect Then also, I have this but I trust that you are to do something else with which I don't know what I want to do right now but I can play around with it gonna stop right there because I don't know what else to do right now and my battery is about to die appreciate y'all for tuning in I'll see y'all next time on three flames with Jay Lee the producer